Jamie King, faculty at Newmont University, speaking with Ludmil Alexandrov, who is an alum. You graduated what year? I graduated in 2007. 2007, so a long time alum. And then yeah, seven years now. A, yeah. a quick recap, what have you done since Newmont and now? Um, so just after Newmont, I worked for about two years uh, at Deloitte as a consultant, as a business technology consultant. And then I did a master's at Cambridge, and now I'm doing a, a PhD. Oh, really? In, How much uh, longer do you have on your PhD? Nine more months, and that's it. And how long have you been working on it? Uh, it's a four-year PhD. That's very exciting. So uh, three years in a few months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cannot wait to be done. <laughs> so Forbes elected you as one of the 30 under 30. Tell me, what, what's that about? How does that feel? How did you get chosen? That sort of thing. Um, so every year Forbes makes an, anybody can get nominated. So uh, you, you can get nominated uh, just by anyone. Uh, you can submit an online form. Uh, in fact, I don't know who nominated me. Uh, but um, uh, the way it works, you, 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 so people submit nominations for other people. And then there is a panel of experts. Uh, and there are, uh, I can't remember, but I believe about 15 different categories. So the category I was nominated for was science um, and healthcare. And the reason I was nominated is we did a, a paper about um, a scientific paper about cancer and what the, the, the things that underlie cancer, the thing that cause cancer. And uh, apparently the panel of judges or the, uh, at Forbes found that very impressive. So they, uh, they selected me as one of the 30 under 30. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. That's a big honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good padding for the resume, let's put it this oh, way. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what are you planning on doing when you're done with your PhD? Uh, I'm probably going to, well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to continue in research, uh, more theoretical research, a lot of computational stuff, uh, but probably coming back to the United States. Um, so somewhere in a research institute. Very fun. In the U.S., yeah. What an exciting life. How old are you? <laughs> Do you mind me asking? No, not at all. I, I'm 27, and it's on the web site on the Forbes, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> 27, obviously yeah. under 30, otherwise... It would... Under 30, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very neat. Tell me what was the most fun, memorable parts of your time at Newmont. I, I suppose the things I liked the most were, uh, you know, you, you come to Newmont, and it's you find a lot of people who are just like you, who, you know, first of all, they like technologies, but, they, they you know, they like computers. They like to either play with computers and to, you know, to work on computers. So you feel like you're at home. You, you feel like you're, you know, a heaven of people who are super geeky. So it feels very, very good and natural. So it's, it, it was the overall, I think, atmosphere and experience. You liked learning with your peers then? Yes, yes, very much so. Very cool. So how did Newmont prepare you for everything you've done since you've left the university? So I think Newmont prepared me quite a lot, uh, I mean, amazingly for, for my job. So I went, you know, I finished, uh, finished Newmont. I immediately got the job. I was working, you know, I was working, uh, as I said, for Deloitte & Touche as a, as a business technology consultant. We were reorganizing public sector. And it was all about getting the newest technologies and implementing them, um, and it was in the Commonwealth in Pennsylvania in that case. And it was incredible because, you know, you have, I felt, you know, you have the, for lack of a better term, the old dogs who have been there for a while and who knew, but, you know, I came there and I have all this, you know, a plethora of, uh, of different skills and knowledge. So my very first project was to actually develop the strategy, the service-oriented architecture and strategy for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And then we did that for a year. And then for the next year, we, I worked on implementing it. But it was, you know, Newmont gave me the background and the base so I can uh, be quite, I mean, quite successful in my uh, consulting job. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun as a faculty member to uh, do these interviews with you alumni and just see, I see how things worked out well for you that that everything we talk about here at Newmont, you go out, you, you mm. off it into works, the yeah. sunset if you want, but it's a lot of hard work, <laughs> but you guys do well and you excel. And it's it's very rewarding to me. We were talking before the video how I've been at Newmont a long time. Everybody graduates but me. <laughs> Yeah, and that's yeah, because that's it's just true. too much fun to be here and, and yeah. see you guys grow and change and all that. So if if you were sitting down with somebody considering coming to Newmont University, what advice would you give them? What input? Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. 
I mean, I, I think I'll, exactly what I did. I'll, I'll tell them, you know, if you like, if you love computers, if you like programming, uh, programming, if you like technologies, Newmont is, is your place. You know, it's fast speed. It's really cool when you're surrounded by like-minded people. Uh, but if you're not into that, if you, you know, if you, if you want to do something else and you want to do programming in the set, Newmont is not your place. It's for hardcore, you know, going and doing, uh, learning the technologies and then using them uh, for later in life and for your career. Well, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. And congratulations again on your Thank 30 you, under 30. Don't be a stranger. We appreciate you guys. You, we appreciate you coming back and giving us input as you, as you continue on in your career and telling us what's going on. It's very exciting to us as a school and as Thanks. a faculty. So keep in touch, please. Absolutely. Absolutely.